Hi guys and welcome to another video. My name is Deborah and this is The Edit by DH. You would have seen hopefully part one of my London vlog. If not, I will link it down below so that you don't miss out and you can see it in sort of like chronological order or you could just be wild, watch part two and then watch part one. This vlog will include not only my visit to Vista Village but my overall thoughts, my purchases and unboxing as well. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you on the other side. So this is the sweet treat we got from Vista Village. It's called Matrix Shoe. I absolutely love it. My favorite eclair, however, is sadly discontinued. Crying face emoji. But we still got some really nice treats. So this is the eclairs from Matrix Shoe. They're so delicious. Because we bought four, we got a complimentary one. Unfortunately, you can see this poor little fella didn't make it back very well from the train journey. Um, but I'm sure he'll still taste very good. So these are the eclairs. So one of my purchases was from the cosmetics company store, which is basically a Lauder Group store and you go in and they give you brilliant discounts. So I got these gift sets and I got two of these as you can see. What's really lovely about them is that they give you a little bit of everything. So here you can see it's got a fragrance in the English Pear and Freezer, which is one of my favorite fragrances from Jo Malone. Then you have the Peony and Blush Suede Candle in a luxury travel size, and then the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Body Lotion. On this one, even though it's, a, it's the same set, there's slightly different, slight differences. So you've got the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Perfume, you've got the Nectarine Blossom Candle, and then you've got the Peony and Blush Suede Body Lotion, which I think is a really lovely gift. Um, and I need gifts for family when I go to Korea, so this was a really nice gift. Price, it was originally £84 and I paid £63, so technically it's like £20 off, which in my world is a good deal. Then I also got from Jo Malone the Yuja Cologne, which is a be beautiful lemony citrusy scent. From Jo Malone and I got the 30ml bottle. This was £52 and I got it for £39, so just over £10 saving. And last but not least, I got the La Mer Cleansing Micellar Water. So this I don't always use because it is a luxury. It's a very expensive micellar water, but it's the best for dry skin. It was £75, but now it's £56. Um, so again about £20 reduction so I absolutely love this and it's not something that I use all the time but it's amazing for my dry skin with everything that I purchased I think it would have been with a discount £270 but I got an additional 20% off maybe because of everything that I spent so all in all I spent 220 on this meaning it was the equivalent of getting like this for free for instance one of these for free so yeah totally worth it and a great place to find gifts if you're interested i got this trench coat from burberry which is just a classic design 
and this one it cost 1110 and originally was 1590 there were coats trench coats cheaper than this like in the 900 mark no in fact 600 mark as well but i much preferred this one because of the way it fit and the general design of it suited me better than some other jackets i also love the color of it because it's so neutral and the idea of the trench coat is just a timeless classic coat outside the buttons are quite simple but it's got really nice detailing the belt and the buckle even the collar behind you can see the design the pattern the burberry classic pattern and again details and again on the sleeve then when you open her up it's the classic burberry pattern inside the back is just simple um, and it's got these sort of loops at the back on the belt yeah it's just a classic design again i will wear this for you guys in just a moment the Burberry store gave you a Burberry branded bag unlike Dior which is always a nice experience I don't know if you guys can see this is the trench coat it's just really cute and very simple if you can see the back excuse my bare feet so if I were to you know wear this out and close the jacket I would probably just tie it like so rather than using the buttons that it comes with and also i would just pull the sleeves up i like pulling up the sleeves on my jackets and this buckle on the sleeve i'm sure it would just tighten it to keep it in place it's got this shoulder pad i don't know what you call it. it's not a pad but you know you guys all know what i'm talking about if you wanted to be really bougie you can pop the collar up if you wanted to and if you open it up it's got the classic print design inside so it's just a really nice jacket. You could just have it open as well. You could tie the belt around here and just have it worn loosely. But I just really like it. It's just practical. Um, apparently this fabric, even though it doesn't feel waterproof, is waterproof or at least weatherproof to some extent, which is very important in the UK. And not only does it go well with the kind of dress that I'm wearing now, as you can see, it I can imagine already, and even the sales assistant said that it would go really well with like a top jeans and trainers, which is exactly what I was looking for, something that's really versatile and that will last me through the years. So this is my Burberry jacket. So I got this gray bag, which is just a very classic gray bag. It's got gold hardware on it, which I love. And it's got Burberry, it's got the detailing underneath. But what I love about it is like the slight peekaboo of the Burberry pattern on the side, on the other side as well. And inside there's just like a lot of room. There's a few pockets. It's also got a strap where you can like do a crossbody situation over your shoulder, or you can just hold it in your hand with the handles. So this bag was 950 and I got it for 595 so it was over £300, saving £350. This is a gift for my mum, so I just wanted to show you guys. How nice is this bag? It's cute, right? And I just feel like this sort of grey would be wearable with anything. It comes in like the classic Burberry dust bag. So I also just wanted to quickly show you the bag that I got for my mum. I haven't taken off the protecting thing on the handle but yeah this is just to show you the length of the bag it's like the perfect length and yeah this is what it looks like so it's a surprise gift for my mom she doesn't know she doesn't watch my videos so <laughs> there's no surprise ruin there it's versatile you can take these straps off and just hold it in your hand like this as well which is super cute then I got something from Dior, as you can see, something very special. I love the fact that it comes in a Dior box. Unfortunately, it doesn't come in a Dior bag. So let's open it up. It comes with a dust bag, a little, I think, certificate, authenticity certificate. So I got these gorgeous pair of heels from Christian Dior. And what I love about it, it's so simple, it's timeless, it would go with so many different outfits and the heel, more importantly, is a nice heel where you don't feel like your feet are going to fall off. And this strap goes around the ankle and as you can see it's got the classic Christian Dior logo on it with the gold buckle. 
So yeah, those are really cute. I pay three nine six for these, and I think the original price is like five or max six hundred pounds. The original price so it's about 100 to 200 pounds saving um, and i will try these on for you guys as well so you can see and lastly i just wanted to show you my christian dior sandals that i purchased and showed you guys but you can see the buckle where it sits you can adjust it you can have the buckle sitting pretty much where you want it to sit i think it's nice on the outer ankle so you can see the heel isn't that high um and then that's the other shoe and it's just a really nice, simple, classic heel that isn't too high as you guys can see. And yeah, I really love it. I'm holding my dress up like I need to wee, but you guys get the picture. So this is my outfit for tonight. And the jewellery is pretty much the same. I'll probably wear slightly jazzier earrings, actually. I'll do a close-up of my face in just a moment. So this is the outfit. So it's very similar vibes to yesterday. I am such a blazer girl. I think blazers are just so flattering and I love how versatile and smart they are. This dress is literally the black version of the All Saints green one that I wore yesterday. The shoes, you will be familiar with them. They're the ones that I got from uh, Dior today. And the bag that I'm carrying is just the classic Chanel flat bag. So this is Oh, and the blazer, by the way, is from Zara. So it's actually a blazer dress, and I have worn it as a dress before. But actually, I much prefer it as a jacket because it's got enough kind of shoulder pads and lift in the in the shoulder area for it to look expensive, but not so much that you feel like you've gone back to the 80s. And I just feel like it complements dresses really well. So I'm wearing this little outfit. So we're just waiting for our taxi to take us to the hairdresser, hence why my hair is a bit of a bush right now. Uh, we just decided to get a haircut, and a long overdue haircut, pandemic, post-pandemic haircut. After that, we're heading to Bob Ricard, which is a famous restaurant in Piccadilly Circus, mostly famous for that press for champagne button. Um, so we've been there before, we haven't been to Bob Bob Ricard in a while. Uh, so it'll be interesting. I hope the food quality is still the same because last time we really, really enjoyed it and it was really delicious. I showed you my accessories earlier, but this one is the only new one from yesterday. And this is an um, APM Monaco earring slash hoop. So this is the outfit. You can see my eye makeup better in this sort of artificial lighting. There's just lots of sparkles on my eye and it's all the from the Dear Dahlia collection I recently reviewed. My mouth, I've just got a little bit of gloss on but I'm just not feeling lipstick today. Normally I would go all out and wear a red lipstick but honestly the weather is very pants and I just, putting it frankly, I just can't be asked. So just got a little bit of lip gloss on made a bit more effort with my eyes but yeah looking forward to tonight With Vista Village, what I will say is plan ahead. That is the key to Vista Village. If you ever come to London and you are into designers, I would really recommend going to Vista Village. Just bear in mind, timing is really key. So you could go one time to Vista Village and it's full of crap. And then there's other times you go to Vista Village and you find so many incredible things. And it's worth doing. Unless you go on like, a, I think, a Sunday or a bank holiday, generally there are always direct trains from London Marylebone to Vista Village. And it's max 50 minutes to an hour, max, sometimes shorter. So it's so, so convenient to get to and from. It's a really efficiently run service because people know the majority of people that get on it go to Bista Village to shop. And it always makes me laugh when you 
are just in the train arriving at Bista Village station and they make two announcements only for this particular stop. The first announcement is in Arabic and the second announcement is in Mandarin. It's like they know who their main customer base are. I assumed it would be a lot quieter than it was but when I went and as you probably saw in the clips it wasn't that quiet actually and when we first went in the morning yes it was quiet I think we arrived about 11ish and yes at that point it was quiet but by like 2 p.m onwards it was pretty busy so that's something to be mindful of also when you're going to Bista Village I I say plan ahead because the really popular stores like Gucci, Burberry etc if you don't go early, what happens is that they'll start to ask you to book your entry online. So there's a sign outside the store which has a QR code. I think you scan the QR code and then you book the time that you want to enter the store. So it's done slightly different because of COVID. Because we went early, we didn't even really need to queue. And for one or two stores that needed us to queue or do this QR code, for example, I bought the Silvergate Pass or the Silvergate package and it just means that you get to select two stores where you can gain quick access to without queuing. So in this case, I chose Dior and Gucci and I'm really glad I did because by the time that we rocked up to Gucci, they were turning people away or saying, you know, you have to scan this QR code. But the second that I showed my pass, he just opened the rope um, and and let me in so I felt very much like VIP so that's something to bear in mind but obviously for the Silvergate package you do have to pay um, an additional amount for the Silvergate package it was £65 look into it if literally if you go onto the Bista Village website there is so much information on how to get there what's available different packages so it's a really good website website actually in terms of information there are all sorts of designer brands. It really depends on what you're into. But there's, for example, Manalo Blanix, Saint Laurent, there's Dior, Gucci, Burberry, so many different brands that you can think of. And there are also like more upper high street stores, if you know what I mean, to shop from, like Michael Kors. Something to bear in mind is something that I didn't know until recently is that certain brands like Michael Kors, allegedly, and a few other brands, will make pieces specifically for the outlet. So it's never existed in their collection and it's made specifically for the village. The reason why that's negative is because if you don't know that and you're just buying it thinking, oh my God, this product is incredible, it's cheap, you know, I've never seen it before. You could be duped into paying more for something that never really existed in their collection. And secondly, is a lesser quality. So what you need to look out for is the RRP, the retail price of what it was originally and what it is now. If it doesn't have that, it means it's literally made for the outlet. My number one advice to you for shopping in Bista Village would be to go for pieces that are literally classical pieces, things that are going are timeless, things that are going to going to last and aren't just trending pieces. I mean, if you've got money to splash, go wild, you know, it's, if that's not an issue. But if you really have a certain budget and you really want to use that wisely, I would invest in classical pieces. So the shops that I went to, which I would highly recommend, and these are only if you're interested in these brands, are Max Mara. So as you may or may not know, Max Mara are famous for their smart, gorgeous, nude, beige, camel coloured winter coats. They have them in stock. So it might not be their latest collection and it never will be in this outlet. It's never the latest collection, FYI. However, Max Mara's newest collections and latest season stuff are literally just replicas of old season stuff. They might just have slightly different detailing, maybe a slightly different belt, a few more buttons, you know, it's not that different. So unless somebody's really got a trained eye on designer stuff, the new season doesn't look that different from the old season. So that's where I would say make an investment and only if you're interested in that. And I think beige, nude, camel winter coats are always in and they always look fantastic. So if you're interested in that, definitely go to the Max Mara outlet rather than just outright paying several thousands for a Max Mara jacket. 
The same goes for their teddy jackets. So teddy jackets, you know, I think they're like Marmite. People either love them or hate them. But if you're into the teddy jackets, again, they have them in the Max Mara boutique. So I didn't need their jackets, but I know going forward that if I want a Max Mara jacket, I will 100% head to Vista Village before I go to buy it for retail value. Another place that's great is Burberry. So Burberry is a huge store. They've got like two floors. And again, they have the trench coats. And again, trench coats are so classic. They're so timeless. They're always going to be in, if so to speak. They're always going to look good. Trench coats can look good with dresses. They can look good with just like a t-shirt, jeans and trainers. As you saw in my video, you, you got a taster of one of the trench coats that I got from the store. So again, I would always recommend going to the outlet if you're interested in a trench coat and want to invest in Burberry, rather than going to this like the main retail stores and paying full price. And even if you do end up paying full price, at least you've seen what they have on offer first, and then you can buy the full price product or coat with more confidence in knowing that they don't have something like that in the outlet stores. If you're also interested in Burberry, just a side note, there is this another store in Hackney, I believe. I haven't been there. It's a specific Burberry outlet in Hackney and it's there permanently from what I understand. So that's another great place to go as well. With Gucci, it's Gucci outlet in Bista Village is massive. Again, it's over two floors and I think it's one of the bigger, I would almost say that this, the Burberry and the Gucci are the biggest stores, but I think Gucci is definitely bigger. And it's one of those stores that's always busy, it always has a queue. But the thing about Gucci is they will never have anything that you're into. So for example, if you're going there for like the thin Gucci belts, I'll pop a picture above so you know what I'm talking about, you won't get that. And I remember back in the day when I asked for it, uh, pre-pandemic I asked for it now I've got my own because I bought it full value from a department store in Selfridges actually when I went there they were like the woman just looked at me as if I had two heads and she said no um, we would never have stuff like that here because it sells right it will sell full price in the actual store so they would never then send it to the outlet to then sell for a fraction of that price however what you will find is more quirky belts the thicker belts so the the width of the belt is actually thicker but it's still they still do have traditional looking belts so like it might just be like a camel color if you're lucky they'll have a black one but with a bigger gg logo but if you're into that that's the place to go find it and pay a fraction of the price they do have classical looking gucci bags but it just won't be the disco bags. It just won't be the Marmont bags. It won't be, you know, the things that you would, that are popular bags, you know, that would normally sell very well in stores and that are always bestsellers, are always in demand. The Dior store was a little bit disappointing. Obviously you saw that I managed to get those really gorgeous sandals, but other than that, there was nothing else in there that really piqued my interest. And to be honest, it's a really small store. So I think I saw like a small tote bag, but it's not, like the popular tote bag that they have. But again, it depends on the timing. If you're somebody that has the time to go, you know, regularly, you might really be lucky and pick something up that's fantastic. The same with Saint Laurent, they have really, you know, quirky, jazzy, shiny blazers. But I have seen people pick up their really classical blazers for a, cl a fraction of the price. So it's just sometimes about luck. And they do in Saint Laurent have like the cute smaller purses and, you know, again, it's not this season, but honestly, unless you are a complete fashion snob, no one cares. And it's still very similar to stuff that is still current because they still have their, you know, the regular aesthetic that they stick to, if you know what I mean. They don't really deviate massively away from that. So you could easily find classical key pieces in there for a fraction of the price including wallets with the cosmetic store i really love the cosmetic store so obviously it's all companies that are under the estee lauder brand and you can get stuff for a fraction of the price so i would always head for like le mer joe malone things that are expensive with joe malone they had a couple of things like scents like um, Nectarina Blossom, I think it is, is an existing fragrance. So anything that's an existing fragrance in existing collection, I would always invest in because you're not going to get a discount elsewhere. And if there are any limited edition 
sense that you really like, they might have it there if they sold out elsewhere. So that's where it's good to check it out. And because of how much I was spending, I ended up getting an additional 20% saving. So it, it was it was really worth it. I have, and I'm really lucky to have quite a few designer, key designer pieces, classical, timeless pieces. But my advice is like, or don't always try to buy what's new. Even though I, I have a lot of new designer pieces, for instance, my Chanel bag that you saw in the clip, at the time that I was gifted it, had I known that they were really good secondhand pieces, I don't mind getting secondhand pieces as long as they don't necessarily look tattered or necessarily look secondhand. I don't mind that it's secondhand and as long as it's authentic, obviously. So anything that I've mentioned and that is a live link down below is an affiliate link. And as I've said before, just purchasing through the affiliate link doesn't cost you any more, but it will just give me a small commission of the sales. And I would be really appreciative if you are going to purchase anything to do it through my affiliate link. So that's it, guys. That's my weekend vlog. As I mentioned before, I will do a separate review, which will be much shorter on the hotel that I stayed at, which is the Rosewood Hotel London in Holborn. And I would love to know your thoughts. What do you think? Bearing in mind, this was my first video vlog. I am not an expert. I am still learning. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I managed to capture the essence of London, like I said. In the future, I will do better, get better. So yes, I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Take care.